Okay, welcome back, my lovely student. So I am here to present uh, to you yet another lesson. But before we move any further, I would like to really appreciate you uh, for uh, uh, tuning in and always uh, doing what is required of you. As far as your class is concerned, that is, you are a candidate. That means that in just a people of an eye, you are going to the final class. So it's good that you take your time seriously as far as the situation right now is concerned. Having also in mind that we have celebrated our uh, celebration and our your celebration, that is Eid in Bara, we hope that your celebration was not in vain and it is going to come up full of success and blessings from the great Almighty that is Allah. And that is just good of you to do that. Otherwise, I'm always desiring a good and a better life for you as a student. I always desire a better grade, better performance, and a better life. And a mind that is very focused as far as, as, far as it is concerned. What I desire is you having a better life, what I desire is you having a good and a great life as a student. So, I am here just to present this uh, subtopic, under this topic that we will be talking about the social economy development during the colonial period in Kenya and today we just want to talk about the effects. Last time we talked about the terms and how it was administered and that the financial world paper, world paper which was just a paper, a document that was sent to the colony that is Kenya to ensure that the fights or the conflict among the races were dissolved. The races that is Indians, the whites or the white sector and also the Kenyans were dissolved. And this was just like a paper being sent to the colony that is Kenya to ensure that the races conflict to one stop. But then this paper came up with different or several of consequences and results and effects and impacts that we want to talk about today before we move to any other thing. I am Mr. Boyer as usual, so please welcome and if you have any problem, if you have any issue, please do not hesitate. I'm always there to ensure that you get it right. Understand? Thank you. And let's look at the lesson of here. So at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to one state the implication of the wise paper on the Asian and implication. Last time talk about that implication on the whites and the blacks, that's African or Kenyan. Then we are just going to talk about that implication. What was it saying on the side of Asian, that's the Indians who came in Kenya due to uh, the construction of railway. Then after that, for the second one, you are going to be able to state the impact of the Pontian while the impact as a whole. What was the outcome of it being brought into the country? Then after that, you are going to be able to explain process that led to the establishment of urban center theory. When talk about Nairobi, there is how it came to be. When you talk about Machakos, when you talk about Mombasa, there is how it came to be. When you talk about these other countries, Mumias, we talk about these other countries that we have, they are how or there are some factors that were in place as far as the economic development or social development, social and economic development during colonial in Kenya. So let's uh, move or let's uh, proceed without any uh, waste of time. So let's look at the implication of the departure white on the issue. What was it contained? What was it implying? So they want equality of all races instead, instead of determinants. At first, India, so Asia, they want equality. They did not want white of the British to the only people who are being considered at them. So how did the paper answer their premiums by then? So especially pertaining what? Settlement to what? The white China. That is one of that was one of the one of the complaint that was one of the premiums of the Asian based on the ratio between them and the whites in Kenya. The next they opposed policies. They, the Asian proposed policy on residential segregation, and that is discrimination based on race, and also restriction on their migration. 
So Asian also they were restricted from what? Well, increasing number, bringing other what? Other people bringing other other Indians or bring other Asian in the colonial what? Kenya. So that was something that was making them also to be all them anger. They were doing that. So the government was inviting more settlers to check Indians' migration in. And that's why the colonial government bring in some of the whites, or most, many of the whites to encounter their number because they are afraid that Indians may have to do with their number. And they may, they may, they might lose their colony that is came, that they colonized. So that was also one of the reasons why they watch the British colonialists uh, welcome the world, welcome the white settlers from the region to come into the country, Kenya. So, they also wanted direct what? They also wanted direct and an adequate presentation in the electoral based on common law free elections, not communal law by then. Then they objected separate population for Europeans and also what? So these 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 were what Indians were having. These were what Asians were having. You understand? Know, yes. In what? In their heart. You see? But then people come up or people came up with trying to fix or trying to answer them. But then it was not part according to what they wanted. And if you look at the notes, that the Dimashia white paper was therefore viewed as a product of struggle between Asian and the European. You see? Because European was saying that the Indians or uh, the Indians were saying that the Europeans were given more more uh, opportunities than them, you see. So they have more grievances. Right? So the, the paper made the Asian to join the African comrade in the struggle for freedom. So the eighth paper was brought and we have talked about the terms of the paper. So what we have talked about, all those we have talked about, the side of the Asian, all of these were still their problems. So that means that the paper was not up to their standard. The implication of the paper was they interpreted in a different way. So that's why they were still having this problem within them. You understand? So that is all about it. Then the paper meant the Asian to join Africans' comrades. So because Africans were not addressed to more, Africans were not given much of uh, equal opportunity as same as white. So Indians joined the Africans to fight for the equal right and freedom. So especially the trade union, there was a trade union movement that is based on that was that was an organization of traders forming a union to fight for their rights. So the settler dominated in Kenya affair continued up to 1960, that is when Kenya was become independent. So despite the recommendation done in the white paper, so these people came together to continue fighting for the equal rights and the freedom. Despite what was written in the paper, paper was still given right or more much of the right or much right to the white in the expense of the Kenyans and also Asian or the Indians in the country. So that is all about the implication on the white, on the Asian, sorry. So let's look at the results, what is very important in the results. What are the results? What were the effects of the white settler, uh, the, the Dimantia white paper on the colony as a whole. One, the white paper uh, the saved what? Kenya from becoming another protection for uh, South Africa. So, the European demand for self government was rejected. So, without that paper, Kenya could have been what? Another Foundation. You, know, you understand these places or these colonies in Kenya that were colonies in Africa that were taken by the British, they were being named and being grouped as one in the Africa. And when you look at the southern part of Africa, you have northern Rhodesia that is Zimbabwe and uh, southern Rhodesia that is uh, 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 etc. Then also even South Africa. So this paper awarded such kind of Instances or cases happen in Kenya. So the European demanded for self government laws was what? Rejected. So the next 
in the theory, center the dominant force, we can, but in the theory, settler dominance was weakened, but in practice, but in practice. So the white paper applied the dominance of the world to settlers more than that of the African. Still, the white settlers were being considered more than the African. So segregation in racial areas in towns continued. So there was still a discrimination based on the race, basically the racial, the racial places or areas where people were staying and also in town. So they dominated the economy because they retained the white islands, those land which was good for agriculture, where the people were in charge of such areas. And people like Lord Dalamea, people like uh, Mark Grigor, 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 the people were in, in charge of those white islands. Then the next, the paper did not satisfy the nation, it is true, since they did not gain access to the white island. So this quarter land, Asian are really fighting to also be given this quarter land, at least to do agriculture. But then that request was nullified in the paper. And that was a result. Then another, then although many Asians came, although many Asians came to gain, the Asian did not achieve quality with the European, though through what through a common problem. So, even migration, there was in my, in, in migrants coming in Kenya, they did not achieve equal what opportunity as what. Let's make this uh, the first or the end of this first and let's make our video, then proceed with it in the next part.